Are you recording? This is my experiment with Canon and Sony. What's up guys? Welcome to Cam Collabs where I collab with other artists to make something happen and today we are doing a comparison. Canon and Sony, the ultimate battle. We are going to talk about five things. Color science is by definition is the way process of which the light is processed by a camera and how colors are subjectively interpreted by each. So what your green maybe is green to me but on the lighter shade or darker shade very subjective. First thing I considered between the cameras, the specs, the specs, let's be real. Canon 6D Mark 1 compared to the Sony A7 III. Specs are specs, megapixels are megapixels, ISOs, blah 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 this, blah blah that. You guys can uh, google that. I'm not gonna waste any time with that. So what matters? The chip the processor of each camera so you guys can check that out of course the better the processor is the better the camera is but that doesn't take away from how good you are as a photographer number two ergonomics for me ergonomics is the way it's comfortable with your hands the way it's easy to use for me the canon is just right for me my michael jordan hands not really, but similar. Needs to have that robust grip, which the Canon has, exception with the SL1 or SL2. The Sony A7 III is very lightweight. It's not, it's like this. Uh, the grip is not really comfortable with my hands, so I got no better examples it's good for traveling because it's compact you can put it in your pocket put it in your put it in your backpack when you go to a concert that's the problem with the the Canon uh, twice already uh, I tried to get in a basketball game WNBA because that's our team here in Vegas they didn't want me to use my camera the ergonomics goes to Canon on this side. Metabones, okay, this is a big part. If I wanna change to a Sony a7R 3 I definitely wanna keep my Canon lenses, my babies. I'm not a fan of the Metabones with these Canon lenses. It's not as responsive, there's a lag and that's a problem because if I'm in a wedding or I'm in a sports shoot and it doesn't shoot it, forget it. It's good for travel photos, photographs that needs uh, long exposure times. I wouldn't rely on it. Canon and Sony mashed together. No. Jack, what do you think? All right, moving on. What do you get straight from the camera? JPEG. It's important for me to have good JPEGs because that's what I'm gonna use. I compared it to three different types of lighting, direct light, sun is directly on the subject, partial light is kind of the split lighting, and low light is backlit. Sony has a more green tint on their JPEGs as opposed to Canon's magenta tint, and that is perfect, I mean much better for portrait, and the green tint is much better for more or less nature. You can do maybe fashion with a green tint, but sure. Um, it's gonna look weird a little bit. With that said, the trophy goes to Canon because I do more portraits and it just depends on you. You do you. Last but not least, post-processing. So as we all know, when we edit, we can manipulate pretty much anything and everything. When you have a chance to manipulate the colors, the greens to white balance white and magentas to white balance white, Go ahead, do whatever you want. What I gotta say is Sony takes the trophy on this one. I did the same edit on Lightroom presets, the same preset on Lightroom, and I put them on both photos with minor adjustments on exposure. I really liked Sony's outcome. It's a little more moody. Canon's a little more IG colors. Final takeaways, final thoughts. Sony's Metabones, 
uh, it doesn't work for me. I I gotta shoot what I gotta shoot and time is of the essence. I, I can't have lags. Straight from the camera, JPEGs, Canon takes it away because uh, I do more portraits. If you wanna do more nature and the uh, long-term exposure, long exposure. You know what I'm talking about. I go with a Sony. And lastly, post-processing, you guys can change it anyway. Colors, contrast, darks, lights, all of that. I'm gonna stick with my Canon. I uh, wanted to give a shout out to Izzy. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Chem Collab, where I collab with other artists, make something happen. Say bye, Jack. We need sponsors and uh, hope to see you guys next week with another one.